In this question, we're given a sample of element E, and it's going to react with nitrogen to produce the compound E3N2. Uh, we know that we're given 35.3 grams of our element E, and we end up with 43.5 grams of our compound E3N2. What we need to find is the grams of E per mole of E. That would give us the molar mass, and then we could look on the periodic table and determine what element it is. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to find the mass of nitrogen that reacted. And you'll see on the left, you'll see N2. That's the same amount of nitrogen as is in the um, in our compound, and we want to find the mass of N so we can use uh, a mole ratio to find the moles of E. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to take the 43.5 grams of E3N2, and we're going to subtract 35.3 grams of just E, and that produces, that gives us, 8.2 grams of nitrogen. I'm just going to leave it as N. So that's the first thing we did. Um, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to find the moles of our element E. We already know the grams. That's already been given. And that's 35.3. So if we find the moles, then we just divide and we're basically done. So finding the moles of E, I'm going to start with my 8.2 grams of nitrogen. And I'm going to change it to moles, as always. And what this is going to allow me to do, now I can use my mole ratio. to figure out the moles of E. And I get that mole ratio from my formula. So that means I have three moles of E for two moles of N. And that's going to equal, I have two digits, 0.88 moles of my element E. Okay, my third step now is to find molar mass of E, which is what this problem is all about. So I'm going to take my original 35.3 grams of E, that was what was given, and I'm going to divide by the moles that I just came up with, 0.88 moles of E. When we divide, we get 40.1 grams per mole. If you look on the periodic table, you're going to see that that is calcium. So I didn't ask for this, but the formula of this particular, the real formula would be Ca3 and 2. That would be the formula of my unknown compound. 